Yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Got another great video for you guys today. As usual, you guys know the deal. You know what it's about in this channel. It's all about the truth and the facts on this channel. And you guys get that. And I want to thank you guys for all your love, man, for subscribing to my channel, for your comments, for sharing your stories with me. Everything, guys. It means a lot, man. Like I tell you guys all the time, I'm a small channel. I know my videos are not fancy and flashy. I try to hit you guys with the facts, right? I try to give you guys the information, right? So that you can be informed and you can have an informed opinion, right? But base your opinions off the facts, not the lies that you hear in the mainstream media or these narratives, right? That you see a lot in the social media space. It's all narratives, right? They don't give context behind these things. They can never give you any context behind this stuff. And in this video, we're going to continue this thing, right? We're going to continue ranking these guys above LeBron James. The guys that I feel are greater than LeBron James in the all-time rankings. And today, we're going to talk about Hakeem Olajuwon and how Hakeem Olajuwon is greater than LeBron James. We're going to talk about that in this video. And you guys know what to do, man. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, guys, listen, we're going to make some people mad today, <clears throat> but not the real NBA fans, right? The real NBA fans know the deal. And I've told you guys many times on this channel, for me, LeBron James will never be a top 10 player in NBA's history. He'll never be that. He'll never be that for me. And what I'm starting to notice <clears throat> is a lot more people are starting to do the same thing. They're starting to reevaluate, right, their all-time rankings, right? And they're starting to look at these things. And why is that? Because I've told you guys, and you guys know the deal, right? The longer LeBron James decides to play this brand of basketball, flopping around, right? Standing still on defense, right? Giving zero effort on the defensive end, right? Pointing the finger at his teammates, crying and moaning, walking off the court, all this nonsense. If he's going to continue to play the game this way, right? Picking and choosing the teams he wants to play against, or oh, I'm going to sit out against this team, this team, and this team, and then I'll play against this team. If he's going to continue to do these things, then we're going to continue to lower this man down in the all-time rankings. And people can say whatever they want. Whatever they want. And I did a video the other day, right? I talked about Tim Duncan is greater than LeBron James. I've talked about Larry Bird is greater than LeBron James, right? We already know Michael Jordan is way, way, way above LeBron James. And in this video, we're going to speak about Hakeem Olajuwon, Hakeem the Dream, Olajuwon, and how I have him ranked above LeBron James. And I don't even think it's a question. Just like Tim Duncan, this is not even a question. <clears throat> now, for me, I have Hakeem Olajuwon ranked ooh, seventh. I want to say I have him seventh on my top ten list, my all-time top ten. Hakeem Olajuwon is seventh, right above Tim Duncan. And when we think about LeBron James versus Hakeem Olajuwon comparisons, like I said, guys, I don't even think it's a debate here. And people can say what they want. Yes, LeBron James has the MVP trophies over Hakeem Olajuwon. Yes, LeBron James has more all-star selections and more all-NBA selections. Yeah, we get all that. We get that. But once again, when we do these comparisons, it's not just about the numbers or the accolades, but we must take other things into context, right? We must think about the eye test, right? I've told you. And you guys know LeBron James fails the eye test on many levels, many different levels. Hakeem Olajuwon, by many, is considered... One of the greatest defensive players in NBA's history, guys. There are people that believe that Hakeem Olajuwon is the greatest defensive player of all time. I've never thought about that personally. But you always hear the same names brought up when we talk about the greatest defensive players of all time. Right? You'll hear Bill Russell's name come up. You'll hear Hakeem Olajuwon's name come up. Maybe you'll hear Dennis Rodman. No one's mentioned LeBron James in that discussion. He's not even close to that discussion. He's not even a top 20 all-time defensive player, LeBron James. But Hakeem Olajuwon is considered by many to be the greatest defensive player of all time. Many people believe that. So we see right there that Hakeem Olajuwon and LeBron James on the defensive end, LeBron James cannot shine this man's shoes. He's nowhere in Hakeem Olajuwon's class defensively. And why is that? Most of that goes due to LeBron's lack of effort. Right? What do we always point to? LeBron James has been in the league. This is going into his 21st season now. And he has not made an all-defensive team since he turned 30, y'all. 
His last old defensive team was when he was 29 years old. So I've told you, this longevity is not, it's not really valid. His longevity is all smokescreen. It's a smokescreen, right? We think about Hakeem Olajuwon on the defensive end, making an all defensive team, I believe until he was about 35 years old, 34 years old, still making an all defensive team. 12 times all defensive. Two times he won defensive play of the year award. LeBron James never sniffed the defensive play of the year award. People can say what they want about 2012 and winning the defensive play of the year. He was not close to winning defensive play of the year in either one of those seasons, 2012 or 2013. He was not close in the votes. He was not. No matter what LeBron James will tell you, he can guard one through five. No, he can't. He's never been that guy. He's never given the effort consistently on the defensive end. Right? And he gets exposed when we have these debates against other all-time greats, guys who actually played both ends of the ball. And when we think about Hakeem Olajuwon, He's in another class defensively, right? Another class, whole other class. Hakeem Olajuwon led the league in blocks, what, three times, I believe? Led the league in rebounds several times. This Hakeem Olajuwon, y'all. Another thing we must think about is Hakeem Olajuwon's skill, his footwork, his balance, right? On the offensive end is superior to LeBron James. Listen, Many people go to Hakeem Olajuwon, right? And they learn from Hakeem Olajuwon, right? They actually go and train with Hakeem Olajuwon to learn his footwork. LeBron James himself went to Hakeem Olajuwon to learn some of the footwork moves in the post. And LeBron James to this day still has not utilized any of that stuff, right? We've talked about this. He's never developed any post game, never. Even though he worked with Hakeem Olajuwon. I don't remember anybody going to work with LeBron James to work on their handle or their footwork or their go-to moves, any of that stuff. But this is Hakeem Olajuwon, right? He was recently just talked about, he was training Giannis, right? Giannis went to Hakeem Olajuwon to learn some footwork, to learn some low post moves. Many, many people consider Hakeem Olajuwon the most skilled big man in the NBA's history. And why do they say that? Because of Hakeem Olajuwon's ability to play down low, his footwork down low, the spin move, the drop steps, right? The triple threat position that he would get these guys in, the jab step, the baby hook, the turnaround jumper, right? He could turn his back to you, he could face you up. This is Hakeem Olajuwon in the post. LeBron James, he can't do any of that stuff. What post game does LeBron James have? Compared to a Hakeem Olajuwon, he's got nothing shooting the basketball you would think LeBron James should have the edge shooting the ball but we've talked about this also LeBron James is not consistent right he hasn't ever had a consistent jump shot what does he shoot 72 73 percent from the free throw line as a perimeter player meanwhile Hakeem Olajuwon who's what six foot ten he's a center a big man shoots what 71 72 percent from the free throw line. So essentially, Hakeem Olajuwon, a 6'10 center, shoots the same percentage on the free throw line as LeBron James. Now, does LeBron James shoot three-pointers? Absolutely. Is Hakeem Olajuwon shooting three-pointers? No, he is not. However, is LeBron James a good three-point shooter? No, he's not a good three-point shooter. He's mediocre at best. I can argue that Hakeem Olajuwon has a better mid-range jump shot than LeBron James. Hakeem Olajuwon actually had a go-to move, several go-to moves in the post. I told you he could face some opponents. He could turn his back. He could give you the dream shake. He could give you the jab to the right, spin left. This is what Hakeem Olajuwon could do. LeBron James can't do any of that stuff. His footwork is terrible. His balance is terrible. I told you, you see LeBron James out there, he's stumbling and bumbling. That was never Hakeem Olajuwon. The man was graceful out there. When we think about Hakeem Olajuwon, right, and the impact this man has had on winning, going to an NBA Finals in his second year in the league, second year in the league, beating a Los Angeles Lakers team, the Showtime Lakers, in the playoffs, pushing the 86 Celtics to six games with Ralph Sampson as the second best player who had a terrible series. Hakeem Olajuwon was everywhere in that series. Look at the numbers Hakeem Olajuwon put up against one of the greatest teams of all time. 
going against Robert Parrish, Kevin McHale, Larry Bird, which some people consider the greatest front court in NBA's history. A second year Hakeem Olajuwon was going against those guys and giving them the business. This is the impact of Hakeem Olajuwon. Right? We all talk about Hakeem Olajuwon and the 94 Rockets. Right? How Hakeem Olajuwon led that team. Right? With no Hall of Famers on it. Now, when I hear people say that Hakeem Olajuwon carried bums, we don't say that. Right? In our era, when we grew up watching these guys, we never called Hakeem Olajuwon's teammates bums. Right? What we said is that Hakeem Olajuwon was able to win with role players, with guys who knew their role. But these guys were quality players. Only in today's era, right, do they tear down players' teammates, right? That's the LeBron James fan club way. They'll always tear down LeBron's teammates, right? They'll say that LeBron carried bums. But we never say Hakeem carried bums, right? We say Hakeem was able to win with the role players, right? Guys like Sam Cassell, Mario Ellie, Vernon Maxwell, Robert Ory, Kenny the Jet Smith, Otis Thorpe, Matt Bullard. These are the guys that Hakeem Olajuwon was winning with in 94. They were a solid team with solid role players that knew their role, that executed their role. And Hakeem Olajuwon, right, was a great all-around player. All around, both sides of the ball. That's all around. That's Hakeem Olajuwon. LeBron James, he ain't taking the 94 Rockets to a title in that era, nah, it's not happening. It's not happening. Because when we think about Hakeem Olajuwon, he's considered the greatest big man of the 90s, right? Of that era. And when we think about the 90s, no matter what people will say to you, the 90s was full of all-time greats, right? All-time great big men. Guys like Patrick Ewing. Guys like David Robinson. These were some of the guys that Hakeem Olajuwon was constantly going against, right? The Shaquille O'Neal's. The Alonzo Mornings, the Rick Smiths. These are the big men, right? Guys like Carl Malone. These are the big men that Hakeem Olajuwon was battling year after year. And Hakeem Olajuwon was seen as the greatest big man of his era, which is saying a lot. I've seen people that think that, that say that Hakeem Olajuwon is the greatest big man of all time. I do not have him that high on my list. I do not believe he's above guys like Bill Russell or above a, a Will Chamberlain. But you can make an argument for Hakeem Olajuwon over some of these guys. And when we think about LeBron James versus Hakeem Olajuwon, Hakeem Olajuwon never changed teams. He never team hopped. He didn't join Michael Jordan, right? He didn't go team up with somebody else. He didn't go join Karl Malone and John Stockton. He stayed on the Houston Rockets, and he went through some tough years there, right? He went through different coaches, right? Different personnel around him. Guys get injured, like Ralph Sampson. But LeBron James, he decided to get his championships the coward's way and not go through the grind. So he bounced from this team, then he left and went back to this team, and then he left again for this team. And everywhere he went, he made sure that he had other all-star players with him, right? Other all-time great players with him. Hakeem Olajuwon never did that, which is why what, guys? We respect Hakeem Olajuwon. It goes back to that word respect. And we know the LeBron James fan club, they don't care about respect, right? They're not worried about those kinds of things, right? Because they don't get what respect really is and how much respect means in life, right? Because you must earn respect, Right? It's not just given to you. And guys like Hakeem Olajuwon, they earned the respect of the fans. They earned the respect right, of the guys they were going against. If you ever hear Michael Jordan talk about Hakeem Olajuwon, and you hear Michael Jordan talk about his all-time starting five, who does he pick? He picks himself, Scottie Pippen, James Worthy, Hakeem Olajuwon. I don't know who else he picks, guys. But I know he picks Hakeem Olajuwon for his starting five. You guys know the deal, man. Michael Jordan understands, right, what he brings to the table. Oh, and Magic Johnson. That's right. He picks Magic Johnson. That's his starting five. Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, James Worthy, and Hakeem Olajuwon. 
That's how much Michael Jordan thinks about Hakeem Olajuwon. And why does he feel that way about Hakeem Olajuwon? Well, he happened to battle Hakeem Olajuwon from the minute he came in the league. Right? They both came in the same draft class. Right? Hakeem Olajuwon was the number one pick of that draft. So Michael Jordan understands and respects Hakeem Olajuwon and what he brought to the table. The same way Hakeem Olajuwon respects Michael Jordan. Hakeem Olajuwon, the only player in NBA's history, right, to average two plus steals and two plus blocks in a season for multiple seasons. Now we get it, right? They didn't always keep or track steals and blocks. So that excludes guys like Will Chamberlain and Bill Russell, other guys, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to a lesser degree, the Nate Thurmans, we get that. But since they started tracking these stats, Hakeem Olajuwon is the only one to do this multiple times. Two plus steals a game, two plus blocks a game. Because Hakeem Olajuwon was excellent at getting steals and blocks. Some guys are really good at getting steals. Some guys are really good at getting blocks. But they don't do both at a high level. Hakeem Olajuwon was unique that way. He had great hands, great instincts, great timing. So he was able to infect steals and blocks at a high level. Right? Also a great rebounder. LeBron James is a terrible rebounder for his size, for his position. Averaging seven rebounds a game? That's poor. Poor. Hakeem Olajuwon averages 21 points a game and 11 rebounds a game for his career. It's really not a conversation. It's really not a debate, guys. Yes, LeBron James has had an excellent career. He's an all-time great. But he's not top 10. He's not top five. He's definitely not the greatest of all time. And he's not above Hakeem Olajuwon. There's no world that I'll ever pick LeBron James over Hakeem Olajuwon not to start a team, not to build a team around, none of that stuff. Hakeem Olajuwon can fit with many different kinds of players. He's proven that in his career. LeBron James has never been able to do that, right? Everybody must fit around him, right? They must adapt and adjust their games to fit around him, which is what puts him at a disadvantage when it matters most which is why he has a losing record when it matters most because he's never elevated his teammates. He's never allowed them, right? He's never maximized them. He didn't help them help him. Where Hakeem Olajuwon was able to lift the guys around him, right? His leadership. LeBron James not a great leader, a greater leader than Hakeem Olajuwon? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Hakeem Olajuwon ain't throwing these guys under the bus. He ain't pointing a finger at all these guys, asking for trades, asking for free agents, begging this guy to come, none of that stuff. Hakeem Olajuwon played the game with integrity. He carried himself a class, right? He had respect for the game, which is why we respect Hakeem Olajuwon. I'll never put LeBron James above this man. I've never seen Hakeem Olajuwon flop like LeBron James, and he played in a very physical era with all-time great big men that will elbow you and bang you, all these things. Hakeem Olajuwon dominated Shaq, right, in the 1995 NBA Finals. Dominated him. He beat Patrick Ewing in the 1994 NBA Finals, right, in seven games. Put on a show. That's Hakeem Olajuwon, right? Raising his level of play when it matters most. He just didn't always have the greatest team around him Right, in a stacked Western Conference. Going against David Robinson and the Spurs. Right? Excuse me, guys. Going against Charles Barkley and the Phoenix Suns. Going against John Stockton and Carl Malone Jazz. The Portland Trailblazers, right, with Clyde Drexler. You guys know the deal, man. You guys know the deal. You guys know that LeBron James is not above Hakeem Olajuwon. There's no way. They'll tell you on the mainstream media that LeBron James is at least top two at the least. But we know the real NBA fans were pushing back on this, and they don't like that. Because in their mind, they really believe that there's no way LeBron James is less than number two all time. But the real NBA fans are not listening to that. We're not listening to that. Because LeBron James has not passed up many, many other all-time greats. That's why we laugh at this Jordan versus LeBron James debate. He is nowhere close to Michael Jordan. The reason why he's not close to Michael Jordan is because he still hasn't passed guys like Bill Russell or Will Chamberlain or Hakeem Olajuwon or Tim Duncan or Larry Bird. He hasn't passed these guys. He has not. 
People think it's all about the numbers and the accolades. That's only part of it. But what you do in your career, the eye test, right? How you went about your career, all that matters. And all that is a factor into how we rank players. Or it should be. If you really value what these guys, integrity and things like that, then there's no way you could ever put LeBron James above a lot of these guys. You just can't do it. And once again, this is not a knock on LeBron James or hate or trying to tear this man down. But we're putting things into perspective. We're putting context behind this stuff. And we're telling the truth. There's no narratives here. Hakeem Lajon was a much more polished offensive player, a much more skilled offensive player. Right? He had more, more moves, right? A better assortment, a better variety of moves than LeBron James has. On the defensive end, it's not even close. Right? Hakeem Olajuwon also aged better than LeBron James did. Once again, I've told you, making all defensive teams in his 30s, right? This is Hakeem Olajuwon. Right? Winning MVP at 30, winning defensive player of the year in the same season, LeBron James ain't going to sniff that. Ain't going to sniff it. LeBron James has been playing forever and still can't match Hakeem Olajuwon's all defensive teams? He'll never catch it. You guys know the deal, man. LeBron James is nowhere better than Hakeem Olajuwon. I would never put LeBron James above Hakeem Olajuwon. To me, Hakeem Olajuwon is a top 10 player. LeBron James is not above Hakeem Olajuwon. He's just not, man. Once again, this is no knock, no disrespect. Hakeem is an all-time great. We need to put some respect on Hakeem Olajuwon and what he brought to the table and the way that he went about his career. Right now, flipping and flopping around. Right now, crying and moaning. Not pointing the finger, not walking off the court early, not being a sore loser, not team hopping around. He was a real leader. LeBron James ain't no leader. Hakeem Olajuwon galvanized these guys, right? He lifted them up and won back-to-back -back titles in a competitive Western Conference. That's Hakeem Olajuwon, y'all. Check this man's resume. Go watch the footage of Hakeem Olajuwon. And you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll see. Remember, he did all that in an era with other all-time greats. He did that in the same era as Michael Jordan. Yes, we know Michael Jordan was retired in 94, 95. We know that. Hakeem Lajuan still went out there and won, right, with no all-stars on his team. They didn't make any excuse for Hakeem Lajuan. He was able to get it done. He didn't need all this help. Right? LeBron James always needs help. So if he always needs so much help, he obviously cannot be greater than some of these other guys, like Akeem Olajuwon. Because Akeem Olajuwon was able to win two titles in a very tough 90s Western Conference. Two titles, back-to-backs, without a whole bunch of help, without trading for all these guys. Right? He got Clyde Drexler. In 95. And Clyde Drexler was, right? He was a little older at that time. This was not Pete Clyde Drexler. This was not Clyde Drexler from 92 or 91 or 90. This was Clyde Drexler several years later after the knee injury. Still a great player, but he wasn't at his peak. And Akeem Olajuwon was still able to get it done. There was no excuse for Akeem Olajuwon. These guys never made excuses back then. And we never made excuses for them. So shout out to Hakeem Olajuwon, the great Hakeem Olajuwon, Hakeem the Dream Olajuwon, one of the greatest two-way players in the history of the NBA. LeBron James is not in that discussion. He's not in that class. I'll catch you guys on the next one.